Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Tian here, and today's tutorial is going to help you update your Mac OS X 10.6.2 virtual machine to the latest edition of Mac OS 10, which is 10.6.7. And uh, this is for all you guys who were trying to update it. I saw the comments, you know, the video got 30,000 views, and I got like probably 100, I, I don't even know, but I got a lot of comments telling me, um, you know, hey man, how do I update this? I tried to update it and my mouse and keyboard froze, so can you help me do so? Alright, so this tutorial is going to help you do so. It's not quite as straightforward as you would think, but it's really easy with the help of a really nice tool that you'll see later on when we get into our uh, virtual machine. So if you don't have Mac, Mac OS X in your virtual machine yet, just click on the screen or check the description and I'll have a link to getting a uh, Mac OS 10 in a virtual machine on your PC as you can see so yeah once you have Mac OS 10 uh, on all set up everything running but the old the old version 10.6.2 and you want to update come back to this video and let's go ahead and get started so what you want to do let me just go to full screen so you guys can see Alright, so there's several things you're going to need to do. Let me just close everything. So I'm going to start fresh. It's going to be super simple for you guys. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go to Tony Mac X86. You need to register. It's completely free. Then uh, go back to Tony, Tony Mac X86. Click on Downloads click on multi beast so that's one of the two files you'll need next up is the mac os 10 10.6.7 update combo now make sure that the what the one that you download is the combo and not just um, just the regular version because the regular version is not gonna work the update combo will and it's 1.12 gigabytes alright so once you have both those files downloaded we're just gonna hide Safari. I'll have links to both of them in the description, uh, and again, links to tutorial on getting this working in a virtual machine. And this one's gonna show you how to update it, so you can get the Mac App Store and good stuff like that. So, we're gonna go to Downloads. We just downloaded Multi Beast, didn't we? So we're gonna put Multi Beast uh, here, and the DMG is already mounted. So. What you want to do is double click on the DMG, the Mac OS X update combo 10.6.7. You want to open that up. And here it is. And then don't continue. You want to then open up Multi Beast that you downloaded. Double click on it. I'm going to close these other two windows. So here we go. So we have the 10.6.7 update combo and we have Multi Beast. Now, let's go ahead and do this one first. Uh, we're going to hit continue. Just continue. Make sure Multi Beast is running in the background while you update to 10.6.7. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I'm really sick right now. And it's going to take 2 gigs of uh, space on your HDD. So there it goes alright so while it's installing and when it is done installing you may get some little errors like this just saying some texts texts could not be used and stuff like that just ignore it just hit ok but here's the most important part just keep clicking ok you do not want to hit restart right now no 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 that's bad that's bad instead go to multi beast that you left open click continue click continue click continue click agree uh, select your HDD go ahead and hit continue just click on easy beast install come on now really did it all really just crash on me right now Are you kidding me Alright, so technical difficulties, people, but just open up Multi Beast again. 
not. Hopefully it'll work. If not, I don't know. It should work. All right, let's just click continue. Continue, continue. Agree. Easy beast. Continue. Install. So then we're going to give it our password, which is 123. It is validating the packages and it's installing. When it says the installation was successful, we're going to hit close because I got an error. Or also, uh, for you guys, if it doesn't crash and this uh, Mac OS X update did finish, uh, mine did finish, but um, mine crashed. But if yours didn't crash, it'll say restart over here. So once you've installed MultiBeast, just hit restart and it'll restart and you'll have 10.6.7. But hopefully it works for me. I'm not 100% sure because it crashed. We'll just have to see. So it looks like it did work for me. I just rebooted my Mac after I installed MultiBeast. So again, it really doesn't matter how, where, or how you restart. As long as you first install the 10.6.7 combo update, and after that, MultiBeast. Now you have to, I would recommend having MultiBeast open while 10.6.7 is installing, then the installer's gonna finish. It's gonna say you want to reboot now. Do not click that. You want to open up Multi Beast. Uh, click on Easy Beast. Install it. Then click on Reboot in the 10.6.7 installer. If it crashed for you, just click the Apple logo and click Restart. Now let me just show you for sure that this is 10.6.7. You can see right there. Um, so yeah, and we have the App Store, the Mac App Store, right here. Uh, let's check it out. Now obviously it's a virtual machine, your computer's sharing its resources with your host computer and this virtual computer, so most likely you won't be able to play games and stuff, but you know, you can use really cool tweaks, uh, I mean, like, little utilities, like note-taking, uh, Twitter clients, all that stuff, some photo apps, some stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so here's the Mac App Store, successful update to 10.6.7. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit the like button. It really means a lot. Please, guys, even if it didn't work for you, hit the like button and drop a comment below. Let me know what your issue was, and most likely I'll respond to you if it's not already in the description. Okay? So, hit the like button, and if, of course, if it works for you, hit the like button. Everyone, just like, favorite, comment. Let me know how it worked. If you have any issues, let me know. I'll try to respond to it if I can. Uh, to go ahead and subscribe. That's also a biggie. Subscribe and like. Those are the two main things. Please, I worked a lot for this. You know, um, I saw you guys really wanting to get the Mac App Store, right? So, I applied my brain. I looked around the web and I figured it out just for you guys. So, could you guys, could you guys just please return the favor? You know, this guy, this tutorial is completely free. The least you can do is hit the like button and subscribe. But thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a comment below, like, subscribe, favorite, and I'll see you guys next time.